from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend, everybody. Happy Friday and weather wise. Now that things have quieted down, I did some stats going back looking at February and the winter and boy, it was an interesting winter for sure. February temperatures and we averaged 61.6 and that's the average highs and lows, which is ninth warmest on record. So we made it into the top 10. That's 130 years worth of records and it was five degrees milder than last winter. So maybe you used a little bit less heat uh, to heat the house or um, air conditioner may offset that. Nonetheless, though, looking back at the overall winter temperature of 59.9 degrees, that made it the seventh warmest winter on record in spite of that deep freeze that we had in December. If you might remember going back to November, we were forecasting a warmer than normal winter that verified and a drier than normal winter that didn't verify our actually rainfall patterns were wet for uh, December and January, but they were pretty dry in February. So we kind of ended up near normal there and the coldest period all winter long. And we mentioned it when it happened was right around that Christmas freeze five days in a row of sub freezing temperatures during the late night and early morning hours. And that's been the only freezes we've seen all year long. No freezes in January, none in February. What about March? We'll talk more about that 10 day forecast coming up. So let's get to it and talk about it and get over to the weather wall here. And we're watching that weather system that delivered severe weather well north of us and brought a lot of wind here, but that was about it. And the highest reported gusts right close to about 40 locally. There were probably some gusts to 45, but fortunately the wind wasn't too bad. The wind was stronger across portions of uh, the Tennessee River Valley and continues to be where it's still producing snow, a wintry mix and farther to the south, the threat of severe weather across portions of Georgia into northwestern South Carolina and into the southern portions of Ohio where a tornado warning and severe thunderstorm warning are going at this hour. But look at all the severe weather reports. Most of these have been wind reports, a couple of isolated tornadoes there, and then we go back to our part of the world and there was a lot of wind across Dallas, northeast Texas, few tornadoes, northeast Texas and one tornado at least maybe two in around the Shreveport area pending National Weather Service surveys that will be performed as we head into the weekend. Weather wise couldn't ask for better for us. We have that nice dry west northwesterly flow allowed us to warm up nicely into the mid 70s this afternoon, but tonight it's going to chill down into the lower 50s with generally fair skies out there and tomorrow just an absolutely gorgeous day. Temperatures topping out in the mid 70s, the humidity nice and low and the wind will be light. So if you're out in the sun, look out. You can uh, get a little toasty out there and then for tomorrow night back down to about 54 low for most of us through Sunday morning. But Sunday afternoon we start seeing a return flow from the Gulf. We'll get into the lower 80s, still comfortable humidity, but not so as we head into Sunday night going toward Monday morning as temperatures hold back into the 60s. Normal this time of year highs about 71, 72 lows about 51 and we have been well above that, but trending a little bit closer to normal, at least for the nighttime lows, upper 40s to lower 50s overnight tonight. Tomorrow will favor the mid 70s across the board doesn't get much better. And then for tomorrow night, we'll see temperatures dipping down again into the lower 50s. Crystal clear skies and wall to wall sunshine continuing into Sunday with those readings in the 80s. So overnight tonight, 50 the low. Look for Jupiter and Venus in the western sky within an hour of sunset. They are going to be nice and close together. Not as close as last night. That was their maximum closeness. Now they're drifting apart. That's a sad story, but that's the way it goes. 76 the high tomorrow beautiful spring day. The birds will be singing out there across the board. Just look out for the pollen. That pollen count still pegged high and only increasing in the days ahead. Mostly sunny skies this weekend. Some clouds, maybe an isolated shower or two as we head into early next week. But overall, we'll see mid 80s again. But look toward the end of next week. Front rain storms and temperatures in the 50s for highs, and it looks like we'll have a shot at mid to upper 30s. Uh, okay. I don't think we're going to see a freeze, but it could be close okay. for northernmost portions of Acadiana. It would be really strange that we had uh, no freezes in January or February, then maybe a and frost in March. Something and then, in March, and, yeah. And then what we had in December. I'm putting my blinders on. I'm just looking <laughs> at the weekend, Rob. Yeah, it looks there you perfect go. out yeah, there. Yeah, just stop it Sunday. Yeah, right I think so, right. right. Thanks, Rob.